Good evening and welcome to another update for my Tesla trade, the January 2020 700 strike calls. Um, today I did add into some more of them. I got in here at 0.87 which took my average all the way down to 181. <laughs> Still very red on these and uh, would like to start scaling out at some point. So. If anyone out there wants to buy some shares and help make that possible, please do so. Uh, anyways, Musk had some super secret development uh, release that he was supposed to uh, put out last night. And this is the reaction. Now, that release was the $35,000 Model 3 they've been promising. They're gonna, going to do everything they can to start cutting costs. Everything's going to online sales, which hopefully, as far as being an investor in Tesla... Hopefully that does not reduce demand for the car. Um, now, doing away with dealerships and staffing is obviously going to cut costs and help their bottom line. Now, the question is whether or not there is demand for the car, which we'll probably have to wait until next quarter to find out. So, here we are waiting, or here I am waiting to see if price action is going to confirm my bias and start to go up. Now, according to Thinkorswim, I need price action to be approximately 340 to 350 in order to get out above break even at this point. So I uh, need about a $50 move higher. We'll see if that happens. I have a couple of lines over here on the monthly time frame. I just want to touch on a few things real quick. Um, last month was an inside month. January is very wide. February compressed, and now we're inside of February. We'll see if it takes out the high or the low, or if it just chops around in here for another month. Who knows? It may just bounce between 290 and three and a quarter uh, until we get some new catalyst for Tesla. Now, going forward, I believe there are still some significant positive catalysts for Tesla going forward uh, with whatever new models they're going to produce when they actually go into production, whether it be the semi-truck, the uh, pickup truck, the small SUV, as well as the new battery technology um, from the company they just bought, Maxwell, um, dry battery technology, which is going to reduce the cost of the batteries, as well as increase and improve reliability and durability. So we'll see how long it takes for that stuff to come into play um, right now going to have to be as patient as possible. I don't want to scale out here at this much of a loss, um, but I may reduce my size if price action does come down again and just find a new play to get into with <laughs> the remaining capital that's in this position. I've almost maxed out what I have planned on allocating to this trade. Uh, we'll see what happens going forward um, for as far as any adjustments, and I will update videos as necessary. Now, uh, real quick on the intraday time frame, there is a potential bear flag here that has a move down to anywhere from 280 to 275. I'm aware of that, and we'll look and watch to see if that happens. If that does, I will need to make an adjustment to this position. Um, as far as his release, I did have, or I bought some 330 calls into the close on Thursday. They got wiped out here on this drop. I also bought some 290 puts. So fortunately, those at least eased the pain a little bit of that trade going wrong, and um, it wasn't a total loss. So anyways, as I zoom out here, I went back and found any days where there was a large red bar and volume of over 5 million shares. There were five instances. Uh, I thought I had arrows on there, but a couple were right here. There was one right here and one right here. Of those five, including this one, three of them ended up going higher. One of them ended up coming down, which was this one right here. And now this one we're currently in, which is a potential bear flag. Now this bear flag is a little bit different than the last one over here on January 18th in that it consolidated and broke down immediately. Now this one tried to consolidate, tried to break down, found a base. There were buyers here. So Maybe it's because it was a Friday. The market makers didn't want to let everybody have all their fun at once. And they're going to prop it up and give a little push higher to squeeze some shorts out of the positions. Uh, but anyways, this setup is a little bit different uh, than the last one. So we'll see what happens going forward. Um, 
on the monthly time frame I've already outlined it's an inside month price action is trapped inside of last month on the weekly time frame this wide range bar took out the highs and lows of last week a significant amount of volume here this long upper wick would at least imply that bears are in control but as I zoom out there's nobody in control price action has chopped back and forth now the last leg up here in 2013 led into one two pretty much three full years of chop now if you look at this as this being a double bottom we had a false breakdown right here maybe that's what's going to happen this time maybe it's going to come down here and flush 240 before rallying back up for another leg higher um, as i said there's a lot of positive catalysts still on the horizon for tesla but there's other manufacturers that are starting to catch up and come to market especially the chinese names so uh, even with the positive catalyst it's, it's un, unsure, uncertain, uh, or I'm uncertain as far as what's going to happen with the share price. Now, I'm going to stay bullish. I'm going to maintain this position and hopefully get to scale out for some profit. So we'll see what happens going forward. I'm um, looking at the volume of these contracts here, and there's, there's still activity, and there's still 400 share, or excuse me, 400 uh, of those contracts traded today. Um, I'm trying to see if there's any other significant way out of the money call activity which there's really not other than those January 2020s hopefully it's not sellers so <laughs> we'll see what happens uh, into next week but right now maintaining my position will scale out as necessary and I do uh, inform the guys in the trade crew chat room when I do start to make make changes to this position uh, some of them follow along you're welcome to as well if you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave them down below have a good weekend and good luck next week